Two aides to Boston Mayor Marty Walsh are back on the job after extortion charges against them were dropped. The pair collected $410,000 in paid leave while they were away. And that got the I-team wondering how many other city employees are sitting at home earning big bucks. And all at taxpayer expense. The I-team's Ryan Kath uncovered how much money it's costing the city. That's absolutely unacceptable. Outside Boston City Hall... It does hurt as a taxpayer. People reacting to some surprising numbers. It seems pretty shocking to me. Like four years, the amount of time Sandro Fonseca spent on paid leave after prosecutors charged the former Boston cop of pointing a gun at his neighbors while he was drunk. Four years is way too long for someone to be under investigation for and not be terminated or cleared of wrongdoing. Or $355,000, the amount paid to former Lieutenant John Early, accused of drinking at a West Roxbury bar in February 2015, crashing into a backhoe, then ditching his smashed truck at the scene. Early collected checks at home for two and a half years before the police department fired him. I'd like to get my money back. Over the past three years, the I-team found Boston City employees have collected more than five million dollars of paid leave. The most surprising thing to me was the amount of money involved. How could this be? Greg Sullivan, a former state inspector general, is now research director at the Pioneer Institute. He says public workers enjoy protections that are unheard of in the private sector. It's just very shocking to see. The I-team found the average Boston employee remains on paid leave for almost nine months and receives about $72,000 while staying at home. You do something wrong, but you don't feel the penalty for a long, long time. And while you're waiting, the checks keep coming in. The majority of the employees work for the Boston Police Department. So we sat down with Commissioner Bill Evans. I think the average person in Boston is going to say, that seems like a really long time. We have to get it right. And sometimes that takes too long. And I'm frustrated by it. The commissioner says a lot of cases get dragged out in court and added that officers have due process rights spelled out by collective bargaining and civil service rules. I think we're doing a good job of policing our officers and we're not afraid to bring them to court. Do I wish it went quicker? Yeah. I wish there was a better way. Taxpayers just have to accept this. No, I'm not saying accept it because we can always improve and we'll look to improve. Outside the police department, there are also cases like Fred Ahern, director at the Curley Center. It's been almost two years since seven-year-old Kaiser Willis drowned at a city summer camp. The DA's office concluded its probe last May. The city has already settled with the family, but the mayor's office told the I-team the internal investigation is still not wrapped up. I think that's too long. Like, especially if this kind of money is being paid out. This has to be corrected. This is just absolutely wrong. The two mayor's aides that got us wondering about this topic in the first place aren't part of a union. So the decision to put them on paid leave for nearly two years was up to their supervisor. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.